it's the day of. You've got guests coming over, maybe you're trying to impress a significant other, maybe it's Valentine's Day, whatever it is. Nothing is gonna wow them more than this super easy to make chocolate mousse recipe. You can be done in under one hour, it's that simple to make and it is incredibly delicious. You, your guests, whoever is gonna absolutely love it. To kick off this recipe, we need to get a double boiler going. Sound good? Let's cook. Go ahead and take a large metal bowl, bring it over to your cooktop. I've got a medium sized sauce pot halfway filled up. It's simmering on low heat. Add your bowl right to the top of that and then go ahead and put in your semi-sweet chocolate. Then immediately start to move it around using a rubber spatula. Don't worry, it's not gonna burn. That's the beauty of the double boiler, my friends. But it will melt very, very quickly. So continue to scrape the sides, move it around. Here's a look at the consistency, just beautifully melted chocolate. Nothing much more to say, but that's exactly where you wanna be. It's smooth, no chunks, nothing like that. Head over to your countertop. I've got some cold unsalted butter that I'm gonna add right to the melted chocolate. And then just continue to mix it in, stir it until it is completely melted. You'll know it's melted because it'll be nice and smooth. It will also thicken up a little bit, so don't freak out if you think that it's overly thick. No worries, my friends. And at this point, we've got some egg yolks. I'm gonna switch over to a whisk because I need to beat those in. We're gonna do it one egg yolk at a time. If you do need help separating these, be sure to check out my creme brulee video. I show you how to do it in two different ways. Go ahead again, add it in one egg yolk at a time until it is completely whisked in. Again, don't add the next egg yolk until the one before it is mixed in. Give it one last final stir. We're just about finished here. Again, it will continue to thicken up a little bit even after the butter. We're heading over to our stand mixer with the whisk attachment. We're gonna add in some egg whites because we need to make a meringue. So on medium speed, what we're trying to do here is get it to soft peaks. This is gonna take in between three and four minutes to do. We know it will be at that perfect soft peak stage. Just stop it, pull it up. If you notice sort of the peak at the top is falling down and not standing up, we know we're in really good shape at soft peaks. Go ahead and put the stand mixer back down, continue to go on medium speed, and then slowly pour in some granulated sugar. This is gonna help stabilize it at this point and also help sweeten it up. It will begin to look like a nice, thick, smooth whipped cream. This is great consistency. Let's take a look after three or four more minutes. Lift it up, we got beautiful stiff peaks. We know they're stiff peaks. Let's turn it here real quick. See those little points? They do not fall over at all. This is the exact stage that you want this meringue at. Take it off, we're gonna go next to the chocolate. You may see some recipes out there that use a little bit of cream of tartare in that meringue that helps sort of stabilize the egg whites if you whip them correctly. Starting on medium, getting them to soft peaks, slowly adding in the sugar, then getting them to stiff peaks, you won't need it. And it's all about understanding these fundamental techniques. Comey's, I say it in every single video. Once you start implementing this into all of your cooking, your homemade food from scratch is gonna blow the doors off anyone else i promise you better than restaurants better than stores you can do this next what we're going to do is add the meringue right to the bowl with the melted chocolate eggs and butter pour all of it in be sure to scrape all the sides once it is in there this part is so so important you guys because all you want to do is gently fold it in do not whisk it do not smash it down that is not how you make a chocolate mousse. You have to fold it in. It's probably gonna take three to four minutes max, okay? Just have some patience and continue to fold it in until it's smooth, until the meringue and the chocolate are completely combined together. Once it is at this point, we need to refrigerate it. So go ahead and knock off any leftover chocolate and meringue. Just simply put it in your refrigerator. It's actually only going to take about 45 minutes for this to set. You may see other recipes that talk about two hours, three hours. No, 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 no. 45 minutes. It's going to come together. It's going to be perfect consistency to serve up a mousse au chocolat or just chocolate mousse. Okay. With about 10 minutes left in that chilling process, what we're going to make is some homemade whipped cream. 
Here's how simple it is to do. Add some cold, heavy whipping cream right to your stand mixer with the whisk attachment. Next, hit it with some sugar, followed up with some vanilla. This ratio will work if you scale up or scale down. Go ahead and crank it onto medium high speed, just like the meringue. It's gonna be nice and thick and form that perfect consistency. Same exact thing. We're looking for stiff peaks here. It's absolutely beautiful. Go ahead and set it to the side. And now at this point, let's pull back out our chocolate mousse. It looks perfect, nice and firm and it's set. Now to scoop it out, what I like to do is I've got a little pot of hot water. Just dip your spoon in there and then you could simply scoop it out. You can use a scooper, make a little quenelle like I'm doing here, or you can simply just jam as much into a cup as you want. So now let's play it up and move over to slow-mo. I'm going to be serving this up in a clear glass. That's pretty traditional if you look at any mousse recipe. They put in a wine glass just like I'm doing here or in a regular glass or even a smaller jar, whatever you want to do. So go ahead and place it in there. You can sort of push it down and add a little bit more. Is what, that's exactly what I did. Add in a nice dollop or I guess little pipe of whipped cream and man, berries just make this recipe. Hit it with raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, a combination, whatever. I always like to finish with a little greenery. So hit it with a bit of mint. Go ahead and grate in a little bit of semi-sweet chocolate. But if this is too much for you and you're looking for a little bit simpler recipe, just do whipped cream and shave in some chocolate. Super simple, still delicious, looks fantastic. And check out this beauty. I promise you, you will be thanking me later when you serve this up and anyone who eats it goes nuts over it. It is that good. So you better like this video and please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Check out this video because you know it's super good. We'll see you on there.